Massachusetts Gaming Commission says Wynn Resorts executives hid misconduct allegations for years. And today, there was some stunning testimony as the commission decides whether or not the new casino in Everett will keep its gaming license. WBZ's Paul Burton is live in Boston with the latest tonight. Paul? Well, this is a copy of the nearly 200-page report that shows significant failures by Wynn Resort executives, investigators describing a culture of allegations of sexual misconduct by the former CEO with several of his employees, who apparently some were too afraid to come forward and report about it. IEB investigation showed that over a course of years, certain executives and employees disregarded company policies when it came to certain allegations of sexual misconduct against Mr. Wynn. In a packed all-day public hearing room, a report by the Massachusetts casino regulators concluded that Wynn Resorts executives concealed for years allegations of sexual misconduct against company founder Steve Wynn. The majority of alleged incidents went unreported to management with fear of job loss being a major reason. Investigators for the State Gaming Commission released this nearly 200-page report on Tuesday. Part of the investigation also deals with whether company officials actually withheld information why they were applying for their gaming license in 2014. Several former Wynn employees have come forward in recent years accusing the former CEO of sexual misconduct. Appear to have contributed to a culture where employees were reluctant to report allegations against Mr. Wynn to management. Steve Wynn resigned as CEO last year. The current CEO, Matthew Maddox, addressed the panel, saying they've been open and honest and have implemented a lot of changes to the company based on the investigation, including a new board of directors and live in-person anti-harassment training. I'm sorry to them, and our company did not live up to its values. Wynn Resorts recently paid out a $20 million fine in Nevada for a similar review, but the casino was allowed to keep its license. The $2.6 billion casino in Everett is supposed to open in June, but that can all change based on the Gaming Commission's findings in the next few days. And I should note that Wynn's former wife, Elaine Wynn, was also present in today's hearing, but she did not speak. The Mass Gaming Commission will continue its hearing tomorrow. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.